Alright, this time on Trapping Coast to Coast, we're taking you on another New Brunswick trap line, and this time we're snaring coyotes. Please enjoy. Getting close to. Let's see. Getting up on that beaver house, checking her over. So that's a good sign because we're not far from the snares, so we might have a. Might have one or two up here, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, it was a trail. You can just see the snow's got it all full down, but if I get up this far and I could have a snare up there, I could see it's all leveled. So I was wondering what the heck. I knew I had something in the snare, so I didn't try not to get soaked with snow. Coyote. Number three coyote. Which is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to try to get in there. I don't want to get smoked. Yeah. It's that same coyote. Uh, geez, I actually had him back hip snared, and I can't believe it. I never had him like that before. I can't believe he's still here. You see how close he come to chewing furry. Get that aircraft cable all split up there. Got this whole area just leveled. And that loop must have been too big. Yeah, was, yeah he might have been walking funny. little coyote. Amazing on that birch tree, you can see that blood up there. Male. Yeah, good. Yeah. Boy, I'll tell you, by looking, I'd see an alpha. A big old boy. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes a day right there good. Oh, we got an otter. Come in. Hear the air? You got something <laughs> up? <laughs> otter coon, and we got this guy, which is awesome. Which is awesome. We got some more snails to chat. Isn't that funny? That's one of the ones we sat. That's a 45 pounder anyway. Yep. Good dog. Yeah. That deer probably walked right by and looked at that. Oh, yeah, because that track ain't been covered in, so. Coyote number two, huh? Coyote number two. Small one. Wonder. There's a female in it. Another male. Another male, huh? One. Nah. Probably this year's pop, I'd say. Big enough to be chasing them. <laughs> oh, yeah, chasing them. But, we'll reset this area up again. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll definitely reset this area out. Funny the coloration difference on them. Yeah, one's blonde. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go, coyote number three. And probably a 60 yard stretch. Which is awesome. And we're going to reset this area right back up again once I get this out of here. Yeah. Lost coyote, just another young dog. Younger dog. Another male. Pretty animal. Another male. Hard to believe. Yeah. That's three. Boy, getting them good, too. Getting them good, they ain't no one anywhere. <laughs> That's a good deal. And set up, I get we got four more snares down below. We're going to put some meat out down there. And, uh, it's funny because this is about the only place I've been seeing a lot of coyote activity. Boys, oh boys. They must have cycled back through all together. It's yeah. mm. a nice looking dog though, right there. I like the color on it. Yeah. That first one's big. That's a big coyote. I bet yeah. he's going to push close to 50 pounds. Yeah. That's a real deal. Man, this guy didn't have a chance. <laughs> he pulled it up. Three coyotes in one spot. Yeah. Ain't that something. I'd say he's, a, he's been there the lesser of the three. Looking at his eyes and stuff. Yeah. Let me stop that. See what you like to see. We're walking down, you got this one. That one's out of the bucket, and you got the other one down there. This is how we like to kill coyotes in Maine. <laughs> it's pretty good. We got, well, today we got these three coyotes, an otter and a, a coon. And uh, we'll check them other snares, and hopefully I've got more coyotes down there. But this, this turned out to be pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Deer killers off the books. That's, a, that's what we like to do. That's what we like to do. So we'll check them other snares out and, and uh, go for